All right, I'm recording this directly after that game four against Cleveland where Cedric had 73 points. And I'm going to be quick with this intro. We're going to put all these stats into Synergy 2K. These are the stats from that game. I clamped up Donovan Mitchell. We ended up blowing them out in that fourth quarter, down by 14 at one point, etching out the win, forcing a game five. Let's go put these historic numbers into 2K. Synergy 2K. All right, here are the stats. We're going to select win. And there is game four, 73 points. Let's head into game five in Cleveland this time. And let's we need this pivotal game five win. I believe the winner of game five goes on to win the series like 60 or 70% of the time. We want to be that team. Also, the San Antonio Spurs are up 3-1 against the Pelicans. I forgot to mention that. Here we are, pivotal game five back in Cleveland. We've already extended how many wins we've had since last year's Eastern Conference Finals. We only got one win there against the Miami Heat series tied at two apiece I feel I don't feel confident at all if you watch last episode if you didn't go check it out links down below uh, if you watch last episode we we should have lost that game we should have 100% lost that game it took an amazing fourth quarter from that man LaMelo Ball and 73 points from Cedric Lewis to even get that win and Cedric Lewis not starting off great with that miss so we might need even more heroics. As you know, our paint defense, as Darius Garland helps me there, our paint defense is god-awful, especially against this Cavaliers team, and our rebounding is god-awful. So, oh, Donovan Mitchell knocks down, not Donovan Mitchell, no ball knocks down Mitchell, but we can't capitalize on it. But yeah, paint defense is an issue as I get that steal on Mr. Darius Garland. Kick it back. I got Mr. Evan Mobley on me, so you know what that means. Aiton's got a mismatch. Please don't take a post-fade. Just go straight to the... There you go. There you go. Post hook and he missed. Cedric Lewis, I'm 0 for 5 to start this game, dude. I can't start off any worse. Lamel Ball nearly gets that steal. It's 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 tough going. I can't really get open for anything right now. And you better not let Jared Allen bully you. No, they're going to try and get Darius Gollin. Gollin. Darius Gollin open. He misses, though. We're on a fast break. Uh, yeah, goddamn Jared Allen can just body me and get easy buckets. Jay Rich in the corner. He's got six of our ten points so far. Oh, for seven start. And, yep, wide open lane for Mr. Evan Mobley. I can't drop one. I can't drop one into the ocean right now. I just literally can't. There we go. Finally, please, thank you, one for eight. The fact that I'm one for eight and only down by four says a lot. I can't buy a shot right now. Please get that ball. Thank you. And you lost it. Wow, man. I can't catch a break. And they're going to get an open three off of it. Yep. How do you lose that? How do you lose that? You guys are making me want to leave this team so bad. Like, you're all just brain dead. I'm the one that's three for 14. And I'm doing so great on defense, too. And they just sell the whole possession. What well, could have been an entire fast break. I so irritating. I'm going to sub though. I seriously just cannot hit any shots. You you would never think I just dropped 73 points. And we're down by 15. Oh, my God. Yep, I can't. I can't. I honestly just cannot. I cannot hit any shots. My release is just off. I don't understand how I was just hitting literally, quite literally everything last game. In this game, oh, offensive rebound. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm simming to the end. I can't. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with the whole another game. They beat us by 40. But hopping straight into the next game. And if it's the same outcome, then guess what? See, it over. That's it. That is. It's over. Series is over. I just. It's so irritating. Just watching your team just let up point after point after point. And he turned it over. You're 2K, you're really tempting me to quit this game, too. You really are. I just want this series to be over. I'm really tempted. Yep, and he hits a 61% contested. What? A, like, seriously? Yay, we got a steal. Yay, we got a dunk and we got the lead back. I just... I, I have just no will to play this game or for this team anymore. I don't, because I know we're going to be this close right now. And it's just going to completely blow up. The lead is going to completely balloon. As, yup, they get the offensive rebound off of that. 
and foul. And now DeAndre Ian has to go to the bench. Oh my God, Darius Garland just got hurt. He hurt his knee. That ain't gonna be nothing because we got Cole Anthony playing like prime Magic Johnson, prime Steph Curry off the bench. But that is their second best player. Actually, I think it's the third best player because Evan Mobley is just a god in 2K. Third best player, the M. No, not the MVP. Um, the leading assister in the league going down with an injury. You can tell by monotone my voice is that I really don't care. He's got, oh, well, Darius Garland has right knee tendonitis, and he is out for the rest of the season. Uh, so that's something to be said. So he will be out for the remainder of the series, and seeing if the Cleveland Cavaliers can uh, end it tonight, he will be out for the NBA Finals. So that is a big wrench thrown in the Cleveland Cavaliers' plans as I'm going straight to the rack, getting fouled. Oh, my God, dude. The Cavs just got three straight offensive rebounds on one singular possession. One. One singular possession they got that many offensive rebounds on. That just summarizes this entire series. Cavalier is going to get the last shot of the quarter. Three seconds left. Devin Mobley gets enough space. Misses. Wow, they grabbed the offensive rebound and got the bucket. Who saw that? Hold on before we even head into the next quarter. They have six off offensive rebounds out of eight. They, I do that's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Six offensive rebounds in one quarter, bro. Oh, my God. Some players can't get six rebounds. Rebounds, total rebounds in a game. I'm going to sub out start the second like I usually do. Let's see what our team does. We're up by 12. Why you guys got to give me a game seven? I don't even want a game seven. I want this season to be over so I can get my ass out of here. Cavaliers have stormed all the way back. Cut it to seven. Give me the ball. I'm wasting the clock. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not much to say. I've just literally lost all will to play this game after game um, five. So take it as it is. I get fouled there. We're most likely going ahead in the halftime with a nine-point lead when I knock both these down. And I'm going to have 32 points at the half. What else is new? Cedric Lewis is carrying the entire load of the offense for the Charlotte Hornets. What else is new? Man, I really hope the Cavaliers eliminate us. I am hoping for an elimination. Just like the 2021-2022 Chargers, I am hoping for a tie, mainly elimination, up by 9.5. And, and as you can see, the San Antonio Spurs have punched their ticket to the NBA Finals. We're trying to stay alive. I really hope we don't stay alive, not going to lie, because I just want to... Look at that. They shoot a 48% to our 61 and they are still in the game because they are out re rebounding us by nine. I just want the season to be over because if we don't make the finals, I am requesting a trade. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to simcast the rest of this game. Because, I mean, we're blowing them out. There's quite literally no reason for me to continue playing. And we are going to end up winning 143 to 120. Cedric Lewis had 52, 6, 14 with five steals. Hit eight threes. Larry Markinen at 27 with seven threes. Uh, Josh Richardson at 20. Lamel Ball had 17 and 17. Uh, the the simulated stats are a lot better than uh, when I'm actually playing. Mitchell, he had 33, but he still shot terrible. It looks like he took over the primary point guard duties. Uh, but yeah, uh, Cole Anthony 24 off the bench. Evan Mobley did not have a good game. He shot 0 for 8 from three. Still had three offensive rebounds. Jared Allen had five offensive rebounds, and Isaac Coro gave him 16. There will be a Game 7. You would think I'd be more excited, but I just am just so done with this team in this season. We'll see, because the winner of this series is just going to get completely destroyed by Giannis and AD. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.